The Nisswa Garden Club hosted their annual table of, or festival of tables this, this afternoon. Garden Club members were encouraged to design a table setting using flowers from their gardens. Reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Flowers filled the meeting hall at the Church of the Cross in Nisswa Thursday as the Nisswa Garden Club hosted their fourth annual Festival of Tables. Garden Club members unleashed their creativity and put their creations on display by decorating and designing a table setting. The idea came because we have been doing a garden show for many, many years and we decided to switch over to the Festival of Tables to do something new. They get to decide what they want to decorate it with. We like them to use flowers since we are a garden club. And so it's their theme, their flowers, their dishes, um, and it's just been growing and growing. The table designs were all unique and varied from holiday themed, the Wizard of Oz, 60s music, to a farm theme. My table is Woodland Wedding, and so I made bridal veils for the girls that were going to sit there, and I had no idea about this groom <laughs> showing up. This is Cora's table, who got the idea from her vegetable garden to use little people figurines to create a farm scene. The public was invited to attend the festival and view the tables free of charge. During that time, the attendees voted on their favorite displays. I loved this idea, and I love seeing the uniqueness, the creativity, and then the people come in and smile and go ooh and ah. After ballots were collected, the Garden Club hosted a lunch that was available for $25 with proceeds going to a cause in the community. The money that the club makes from events like this, and this is our major event, we do things like support horticultural scholarships at Central Lakes College. The event was a great way to raise awareness of the Nisswa Garden Club, but it also gave members the opportunity to show off their skills. There's that old saying, less is more, but for me more is more. I just pull out this, that, and whatever, and I have fun bringing it all, so it's fun to put it together and share it with friends. Reporting from Nisswa, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. The Nisswa Garden Club has been around for more than 100 years, and over 150 people took part in this event. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.